subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. So now we look at convolution of these two pulses graphically. So for graphical convolution what we are doing is we are shifting this H T. Okay, we are making a shift of T in this uh, pulse H tau and according to different values of T whether T is less than 0, T lies between 0 and 2, greater than 2, less than 5, whatever we are shifting this pulse accordingly and then we see that where these two pulses intersect, they where they are having intersection and if they are having intersection what is the value of their intersection? Okay, what is the area under the intersection of these two pulses? According to that, we are going to sketch their convolution, right? So, uh, see, this is what xt is. This is this is our xt. So, I am sketching this ht minus tau. Since we have taken several examples on sketching ht minus tau, I am doing this directly in here. If this ht minus tau, if t is less than zero. If t is less than 0, right, this is how this signal is going to look like, okay, uh, with the value of 1 of course. This is how our h t minus tau is going to look like. Fine, uh, we have just performed the same operations, okay, first shifting, then reversal. So this is how this pulse looked like. Now this was my x tau. x tau occurs from 0 to 3. Fine. Now if I try to sketch, if I try to sketch intersection, that is if I try to sketch x tau, h of t minus tau, these two pulses are having no intersection, no area in common. So we are going to have nothing, okay? We are going to have value 0. So, for t less than 0, we are having value 0 only, okay? Now, now I shift this pulse and I am going to make shifts to this pulse. Now, what condition am I taking? I consider that this t lies between 0 and 2. If this t lies between 0 and 2, this pulse is going to shift right, right? is going to become something like this. This is t is going to be t minus 2. This is tau. Now if I want to sketch intersection of these two pulses, they are going to have some intersection from 0 to t. From 0 to t because this pulse starts from 0 time t is, uh, tau is equal to 0 but this ends at tau is equal to t. So they are going to have value 1 and some intersection from 0 to t, 0 to t. This is going to be my x tau into h t minus tau. Now this is for what condition? When I have considered that t lies between 0 and 2. This is going to be the case. Fine. Now next I am looking when t, t lies between 2 and 3. Now I have shifted this t from 2 to 3. Now I am considering t lies from 2 to 3. Now see, when this t lies from 2 to 3, then t minus 2, t minus 2 is going to lie between 0 and 1, right? This is going to be value 1. Right. So now when I see at intersection of these two pulses, they are going to have intersection from t minus 2 to t. Since this is a smaller pulse than this, okay, this occurs from 0 to 3, but this pulse occurred from t minus 2 to t only. So their intersection is going to lie from x tau into h t minus tau is going to lie from t minus 2. Fine with value of 1. Since both of them have value 1, okay, so the intersection is also going to have value 1. This is going to be tau. When does this occur? When, when t is from 2 to 3, 
right now next time shifting this t i am shifting this t for values between 3 and 5 why am i doing this is why i have chosen 5 is because addition of these upper limits is 5 so i am considering boundary as 5 so uh, now i am shifting this ht minus tau for values of 3 uh, values of t between 3 and 5 when t is going to lie between 3 and 5 t minus 2 is going to lie t minus 2 is going to lie between 1 and 3 ok so just subtract 3 from both of them subtracting 2 from both of them ok ok sorry this is going to lie between 1 and 3 so uh, So this pulse is going to be something like this. Fine. Now if you look at their intersection, this intersection is going to be only from t minus 2 to 3. Why? Because this t is lying uh, beyond 3 and this pulse ends at t, tau is equal to 3. Okay. So, if I just sketch their intersection x tau into h t minus tau this is going to begin at t minus 2 and end at 3 value 1. Now in last case I consider that t is greater than 5. If t is greater than 5 t minus 2 is greater than 3. So this is how this pulse is going to look like. Now see there is going to be zero intersection because this pulse ends at tau is equal to 3. This begins after tau is equal to 3. So we are not going to have any intersection. X tau into H t minus tau is going to be zero. No intersection, okay? No intersection for t greater than 5. Now see we have got conditions, we have got values of these intersection for all t values, okay? For t less than 0 we had value of this as 0 value of this uh, integration as 0 so this is going to be 0 now for 0 to 2 we are having this pulse as the multiplication now what does area under this pulse means area under the intersection means area under the curve integration of this multiplication implies area under the curve now what is going to be the area see this is a simple square okay this is a simple simple rectangle with the length 1 and breadth t so area is going to be t again rectangle with this this parameter is see this is uh, t minus t minus 2 into 1 which makes it 2 ok so this is this is t is going to cancel so area under this curve is 2 now if you look at area under this curve this is going to be 1 into 3 minus t minus 2 which is going to be equal to 1 minus t ok fine sorry 5 minus t this is going to add ok 5 minus t and for t greater than 5 again 0 now I am just going to plot these ok we are just going to plot these values that we have obtained for to obtain my yt for uh, plotting yt, I need values less than uh, for uh, t ranging from 0 to 5, right? This yt is going to occur only from 0 to 5. Now, if you just start plotting, from 0 to 2, you have to plot t that is a line of slope 1. So, from 0 to 2, a line of slope 1, which means final value is going to be 2 only. From 2 to 3, from 2 to 3 this is a constant value of 2 that means from 2 to 3 I am having a constant line a line of slope 0 of value 2 from 2 to 3. From 3 to 5 you are having a line uh, of equation 5 minus t which means that slope of the line is minus 1 and the final value is going to be 0. Why? Because if you just see this there is a constant shift of 5 and a slope of line minus 1 
which is going to look something like this okay fine till t is equal to 5 and after t greater than 5 this is going to be 0 0 see we have obtained the same result we have obtained the same trapezoidal pulse as we had obtained earlier by analytical method which means that either you solve by graphical method or analytical method you are going to obtain the same pulse same answer so whichever method you find easier or whichever method you have been asked for you can do it okay in graphical method you just keep on shifting this pulse according to different time interval and then see for the intersection after you find the intersection you need to find the area under the curve area under the intersection and then plot accordingly right so this is going to be a final answer